can't tell you how, how great it is to have uh, State Senator uh, yes. Sheila Harsdorf here today. Yes. It's, it's, been to Madison, I've seen what's going on down there, and, uh, and uh, for her to, to st stay strong, it's uh, it's really impressive. It's it's not an easy thing to do down there, and, and that's why it's so important for all of us to stay behind all of our leaders down there as they go through the next, <laughs> let's hope it's weeks, but it could be months. Um, another guy I want to introduce to you, uh, he's not a Wisconsinite, although he wants to be. <laughs> he. Uh, He's been watching this from both uh, afar and, uh, and, and, you know, right here in our state, and he's been traveling around with us. Um, a different perspective than, uh, than us Wisconsinites, but he, uh, he came to prominence in 2008 uh, when he, uh, he asked a simple question to then-Senator Barack Obama regarding the redistribution of wealth. <laughs> and uh, his name is Joe Wurzelbacher, but you probably know this Joe the Pope. That's right. I've been uh, I've been coming here for ten years, uh, hunting, fishing. Um, there we go, up in Park Falls area. Absolutely love it up there. Uh, I've taken more of my fair share of home back to Ohio. That's for sure. Um, you know, there's a word out there. It's called deserve. I absolutely hate that word. Uh, there's only one group of people in America that I believe deserve anything, and that's our military veterans. Yeah. Yeah. take that word out of our vocabulary. Too many people walking around right now thinking they deserve things. And most of the time, it's the money in your pocket they think they yeah. deserve. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I don't talk about fair. I mean, we're all adults here, and, uh, and it's time the children learn this. Life isn't exactly fair. But we do definitely have to stand up for what's right and what's wrong. So uh, today, I want to thank you guys for your courage and your bravery and your patriotism. You guys are doing a great thing here, and I really appreciate that. The reason why I say that is... Uh, about a week and a half ago, I was in Madison, and I tried interviewing people to stand with Walker. Everyone was afraid. Oh, oh you're kidding. They were. They were concerned about getting their opinion out there in public because of everything going on with the unions. Either they have friends that work with the unions, or they themselves do business with the unions. And it's historical, unfortunately, with the unions that they do uh, intimidate people and, uh, and make people worry about their livelihoods. You know, uh, We even had to move uh, one of our locations earlier in this uh, tour because the lady was going to get her... You know, they were calling her up and saying, we're going to not visit your establishment anymore and, and, and hurt her just because she has a different opinion. That's, that's not the way this country is supposed to work. You know, uh, majority won this time around by a, 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 a smashing uh, a success of 10%. Um, democracy doesn't look like that outside. I mean, they definitely have the right to vote, or uh, vote. They have definitely have the right to uh, get together and protest, but that's not what democracy looks like. Democracy happened in 2010 when Governor Scott Walker got elected and now he's here to do the job that needs to be done. And unfortunately, he's left with the hard decisions. You know, they're mad at the wrong people, actually. <coughs> the problem's been going for the last 40, 50, 60 years yeah. that we've had bad Republicans and bad yeah. Democrats making bad decisions and not yeah. being able to get playing for the last 40 or 50 years, the chairs have been being taken away. Well, the music stopped, there's no chairs. Now we have to make the tough decisions. We just got done doing it in Ohio. It passed over there. Now we're going to make it pass here in Wisconsin. Yeah. 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 It's got to be done through your hard work. And a lot of you guys have been tea partiers. You've been active the last two and a half years. Well, you know, if you've been to any of my speeches or talks around the country or around the state, um, I've talked about this is a civic responsibility that has to go on for the rest of your life. It's not something that you, you do it for a year or two and then you're done with it. This is a lifelong process. It's your civic responsibility to be involved. So please, don't fear anybody. Don't be politi politically castrated. Always speak out your mind. Always say what you mean and do what's right. That's all we got to do and uh, this country will be great. You know one of the big differences that I've noticed between the Tea Parties and what's going on out there right now? Tea Parties talk about ideals. They're individuals. They talk about what we can we do best for our country. What can we do to better our state? What can we do to better our, uh, leave a better place for our children? You know what they're doing out there? They're talking about me. Me. You know? That's right. That's selfish, and that's not uh, that's not what it's about. You know, you got friends out there. You probably have some family members out there. 
you know, they're just misinformed. They're ignorant. Not stupid, but ignorant, and they're being led around uh, by their noses by union stewards and union bosses. That's what yep, it comes down to. True. About a week and a half ago, I believe her name's Mary Bell. She's uh, president of the Wisconsin's uh, public school teachers things. You know, there she had to actually put out a letter out there to tell the, all the school teachers to go back to work. I'll leave this with you. Do they work for the union or do they work for the parents, the taxpayers? Right. That was my question. And they're supposed to, absolutely. And what this bill is going to give power back to the parents to be more involved in their school system, uh, you know, and the kids are going to prosper more because of parents' involvement instead of the union getting in our way as parents. So thank you again very much for coming out. You know, maintain your civic responsibility. It's a lifelong goal. we, we got to do it. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.